So what could the SAS um, program produce in the way of numbers of fish? And this is just a rough calculation, but um, if we start out with a thousand smolts leaving the Northwest Miramichi in 2019, if we let them go naturally, they're going to go out, the sex ratio of those smolts going out is roughly one male, one female, one to one. And so they're going to go out after one year, they'll come back, some will come back as grills. And a 2% marine survival uh, on smolts to, to grills. So that would provide 20 grills coming back in next year in 2020. Grills are mostly males, so you would have about four female grills and 16 male grills coming back from that. The rest would stay out another year and come back in 2021, but there's a very low survival on those, um, only about a half a percent. So what that would only bring back is five fish as salmon, but the female ratio is higher, so you'd have four female salmon and one male. So what you're going to get from that 1,000 smolts is probably 25 fish coming back, eight of them females and 17 of the males. Those eight females, grill and salmon, would produce about 39,000 eggs. So 39,000 eggs through natural survival in the wild would produce about 780 smolts. So, we have 1,000 smolts going out. With this poor marine survival that we have now, from the eggs that they're going to, adults and eggs they're going to produce, they're only, we're only going to get 780. And so what we're having is a declining population. It's spiraling down and uh, the smolts that are going out, we're not going to get enough adults back to keep it at the same rate it is now. It's, it's going down. So, but what if we intervene and use the SAS program where we're going to capture those 1,000 smolts in 2019. Again, they're half male, half female, one to one ratio. We're not going to put any out in 2020 as gross. So there's zero coming back that year. However, from these 1,000 smolts, we would project a 75% survival in the hatchery, and we should get 750 adults to put in the river. We assume the ratio is still half male, half female, so that would translate to 375 female salmon and 375 males going into the river. So, what would this produce? 375 females, 3,337,000 eggs, compared to 39,000 eggs from the wild. And, given again, natural survival in the wild, what would that produce? That would produce 11,700 smolts. So we start off with a thousand smolts, we put the adults in, we're producing 11,700 or approximately 12,000 smolts. So what we have is an increasing population. Start off with a thousand and through natural selection, whatever, we'll end up with 12,000. So this is what we have to do to stop the corkscrew spiraling down. We have to address the root causes of what's happening in marine survival. But until we get that, we find the causes and find the cure, uh, we're at a risk of losing this population entirely. So that's why we think we need intervention now. While the population is still high enough that we have enough genetics in the group that we're not, we're not going to get down to the last few fish before we have to intervene. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with everything happening here at the Miramichi Salmon Association. Or better yet, join our ranks and become an MSA member at www.miramichisalmon.ca.